What a beautiful day to have this marriage and this union. It's not only bringing two people together and two families together, it's bringing two cultures together. It is fascinating. Mimo and Randy, together you must keep it flourishing, care and feed it, and not to mention growing it, and you damn know what I mean. I don't, be, I, I don't mind being called grandpa. It's time. <laughs>first met um, actually on the rooftop bar at Soho on Chippewa. I was out uh, with my guy friends, she was out with her girlfriends, and um, I saw her dancing by herself, you know, and just having a good time, and uh, she looked so beautiful. Randy knows my friend, he sees her, and he's like, who's your, your friend over there? I guess he had been having his eye on me, <laughs> and pulled me aside, and we started talking that night at Soho, and... And little did we know, we went to the same pharmacy school, and uh, you know, I got, got basically got her phone number and we kind of, you know, talked ever since then. But it, the odd thing was that it was, a, it was a super small world in the sense where, you know, we were both in pharmacy school and, you know, we didn't met, meet in pharmacy school. We met out and about in, in Buffalo and Chippewa. People often say after meeting the three Naparella boys that we are all so different. You have me, the art teacher, Randy, the pharmacist, and Jesse, the naturalist. <laughs> I always respond to that by saying that we have the same heart. And Marianne, that big heart is all yours now. Throughout my life, I have always wanted a sister, and I'm so lucky to finally have that in you. So our first day was at World of Beer, and uh, we basically sat there and talked for a whole four hours. Uh, we talked so much, we didn't end up getting food. We got, we got two beers, um, we ended up getting a flight after that. We got up and it was after midnight, and I think that they were closing or something was going on, and we're like, how did the time just fly? So, you know, he walked me out to my car, we said goodbye, and that was it. It was honestly amazing. We just talked the entire time. I felt like I had known him for a hundred years, because that's just, that's who Randy is. He's just a personable guy. <laughs> I've lived with Marianne almost my entire life. And every night she'll hear me walk up the stairs and immediately get in bed and turn off all the lights. <laughs> like every best friend does. I still go in anyways, and even though she's tired, she always, and I mean always, talks and laughs with me until finally kicking me out of her room. <laughs> She has been my best friend for a long time and it has come the time where she spends the rest of her life with her new best friend. Marianne, Mimo, Miriam, <laughs> almost P, Mrs. P. Ran, happy wedding day my love. A little over four years ago you came into my life and since that day you were the best thing to ever happen to me. I'm going to start off by saying thank the Lord you're reading this letter right now. That means everything I've always wanted in life is coming true in a few short hours. My whole life I had the highest of standards due to the amazing man and father my dad is, and I knew I wouldn't settle until I found someone like him. So Randy and I got engaged in New York City, um, and this is one of my favorite stories to tell. Um, so when I first proposed to Marianne, we actually took a, a trip to New York City, um, and we are really there for her best friend's graduation party um, after they both graduated from pharmacy school. We're on our way to New York and we get stuck in dead stop traffic in the middle of nowhere. The cars are parked on the throughway. A huge dumpster truck full of however many pounds of mud fell over in the middle of the road. And Randy had a proposal planned out at Top of the Rock in New York City with a photographer, with you know our passes, everything was all ready to go. We had to like get to where we were staying, and I'm like, of course, out of all the days and all the times, a dump truck would spill over and block the whole entire three was on a standstill. Yeah, so we were in standstill for two hours, and Brandy was so calm. I had no idea. I literally, and apparently internally he was losing his mind. So Marion didn't know what was going on, but I'm like, we have to be somewhere at 4:30. We have to be somewhere at 4:30 because I had I had reservations um, at the top of the rock. But so she didn't know what was going on, and she was playing along with it. You know, just thought we were going for a nice fancy dinner. Um, we get to the hotel, and he was like, "I'm really sorry, but you have like four seconds to get ready." And I'm like, "Okay, no problem." So I got ready really quick. We Uber, and um, we got there, and I had the ring in my pocket. 
and we had to go through a metal detector. So Marianne had a sweater, thankfully. So I'm like, Marianne, I'll hold your sweater. And uh, I took her sweater. He wrapped the ring in the sweater, put it through the metal detector or whatever, so it wasn't on his person, and got it back, tossed me the sweater, and was like, all right, we're good. <laughs> so we got through that part, um, got to the top of the rock, um, and I actually had a photographer there as well. And we walked over, and I started you know, telling her how much she meant to me and, and how New York City was the first place you know, that I told her that I loved her and how I wanted to start our next chapter here in New York, City, New York City again. And I got down on one knee at the top of the rock building and proposed to her. So It felt like the whole world just stopped for a second. Like, it was silence around us. I, did, I was absolutely in shock. I had no idea. And it was just the most magical moment with all these people around us. <laughs> I've never met two people who balance each other out more. What one lacks, the other has. They are each other's missing piece. Randy, I'm so happy to have you as a brother-in-law. And add you to the craziness of our family. So seeing that you are both pharmacists, I wanted to take this moment to personally thank you for always being my on-call doctors when I feel a little cough coming on and then start spiraling to think it's something far worse. I also thought that I would take this one and only chance to give you both a prescription to fill on your wedding day. It says, one supersized IV of love, two milligrams of trust, three cc's of friendship, four capsules of laughter, and five doses of understanding. Take all of these things three times a day, once after breakfast, once after lunch, and once after dinner. Refill and repeat for as long as you both shall live. You mean the world to me, Mimo, and I will do my best to show you that every day. I am so excited to watch you grow into the best version of yourself and will be there every step of the way to see that through. I promise to love you more tomorrow than I did today, and I cannot wait to see you in that beautiful white dress, Ayeti, with all of my love, Randall. Saying yes to marrying you will always be my favorite and easiest decision <clears throat> I've ever had to make. And no words will, will ever do my feelings for you any, any justice. Our adventure starts now. I love you forever, Habibi, <laughs> from Pete. <laughs> but Randy, I love you, and um, I can't wait to marry you. We've been waiting for this day, I feel like, since the day that we met. And you are my person, and you are perfect for me, and you are my light. So I'm very excited. I can't wait to see you. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, you know, I cannot wait, wait to see her walk down that aisle and, uh, and in her beautiful white dress. I'm so ready for the rest of our lives together. Uh, we've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I'd say, you know, I love, I love you, you know, so much, and I cannot wait uh, for our journey to take off together. Hi, Randall. Take you, Marianne. Hi, Marianne. Take you, Randall. For my lawful wife. For my lawful husband. To have and to hope. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. So the bride and groom, wish him the best. Let's go, Via. Let's enjoy the night, guys. So if you can now raise your glasses with me. And here's to the new Mr. and Mrs. Naparella. So let's all raise our glasses and toast to Marianne and Randy. <laughs>